Hello guys, today I will be showing you real quick how to make some pixel art in GIMP or well, I will show you how to set up GIMP in order to make pixel art because I can't actually make that good pixel art myself meaning I can't teach you a skill I do not possess uh, but I can show you how to set up GIMP so let's get started uh, you want to start off with creating a new image uh, Control M uh, I'm just going to go by 32 by 32 uh, I'm just going to create a new layer for the sake of it now, you want to start off by pressing N on your keyboard, as in Nicholas. Uh, you can also right-click the print, uh, paintbrush up here and press Pencil. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to change the brush to be Pixel. It's going to be that square that you see. It's going to be the first brush that uh, pops up. Uh, you want to change the size to 1 and the hardness to 100. Nice. Uh, then you want to press Shift-E uh, and you're going to get up your eraser. Now you want to change this to be pixel as well on the brush and one on the size. You want to go hardness 100, nice again. And then at the bottom by the dynamics, uh, you're going to push in hard edge. So hard edge needs to be enabled. And what this does is everything that's inside the, the eraser is going to be erased. If you don't have hard edge enabled, I can show you what happens. So when I erase without hard edge, uh, the eraser is actually going to uh, it's going to calculate some things and it's going to uh, tone the colors instead of actually removing them uh, whilst if you have hard edge it's just going to delete everything that you touch with the eraser so you turn off the anti aliasing like completely and that's what you want uh, anyway once you've done that uh, you can actually get started with the pixel art uh, but it's going to be really hard when you don't have any guidelines. So we're just going to go into image and we're going to press configure grid. <coughs> now here uh, you have the uh, line style, foreground, background color and the horizontal and vertical spacing. Uh, you can also choose a offset, but in pixel art you don't really need to set an offset. Uh, now I recommend the double dash because it's foreground color and background color in a uh, lined pattern, meaning that no matter what colors you use, you're always going to see your uh, grid, which is good. Uh, on the spacing, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, now, for pixel art, uh, you do want to do one by one, uh, but I have chosen to do two by two, and the reason for that is because if I am using a 32 by 32 grid and I want to place this in a game, uh, I often want to have like tinier details uh to uh, to give some depth to my sprites uh, but you can't really go deeper than one pixel uh in pixel art do you understand what i mean so i usually do 32 by 32 but i use a pixel grid of 2 by 2 meaning i have a pixel grid by of 16 by 16 so my pixel art is actually often uh, 16 by 16 pixels when the user looks at it uh, but I do have a 32 by 32 real grid pattern, meaning I can do these tiny, tiny details of one pixel. Uh, it's also going to look really crisp and stuff when you upscale it in, in games and such, because uh, the pixels aren't that tiny. Uh, a pixel is actually four real pixels. Uh, but that's just the technical shit, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so once you have this grid, you want to be able to enable it, because uh, it's not going to be en enabled after you configure it. So you want to go to view and show grid. Now, it's really annoying to go to view and show grid every time that you want to uh, see the pixel art and disable and enable it. So in order to set a shortcut for that, you go to edit, you go to keyboard shortcuts, and you just search for grid. Uh, you're going to see here, it's going to be a thing called show grid. Now, you can bind this to whatever you want. I've chosen control W and then you save. Uh, the reason to why I chose Control w is because by default, Control w is just going to close the image that you're currently on. It's not going to close GIMP, it's just going to close this image. And it's a good function, but I never use it, so why is it even there? So I just use uh, Control w uh, It's a really good short command because you never use Control w in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, anyway, so that's, uh, that's actually that. Uh, but if uh, if you want to do some pixel art like all the time, like every time you open GIMP, you just assume you wanna you wanna have the grid for pixel art. You're never gonna use the grid for anything else. You 
are going to get annoyed by uh, changing the grid every time. So if you go into edit and you choose uh, preferences, Uh, and then default grid. Here you can actually change the grid on every new project that you open in GIMP. So if you're gonna make a lot of pixel art, you can change the default grid, uh, meaning that you will always have the grid to your configurations, like to, to your likings every time that you open it up. So uh, that's basically it, I'm sorry for rambling. I'm going to upload, uh, my next video is gonna be about making a sprite sheet in GIMP and how to, how to set it up correctly. Uh, to to avoid any errors when you're making games so stay tuned for that and i'm sorry for the rambling i'm just gonna actually end the video here bye <laughs>